Good afternoon, everyone. Chasing down an article off Robert Felix's site, IceAgeNow.info. Interesting correlation here. They just use Google to find record high and record low temperatures. So I took it a couple steps further, verifying that indeed 183 million low temperature records compared to 7.9 million record high temperatures. Then I just started going through the continent. Europe, 23,800,000 record low temperatures compared to 7.8 million high temperature records. So let's take a look through Oceania, Northern Hemisphere, Southern Hemisphere, the Middle East, and the tropics is going to shock you. And while you're watching the video, please remember to subscribe to Adapt 2030. For those of you asking me, where do I find some of my information that I make videos out of? One of the stops for sure is going to be iceagenow.info. That's Robert Felix's site. He wrote the book, Not by Fire, But by Ice. One of the articles, really short, came up here just talking about using Google to find record high temperatures compared to record low temperatures and just look at the number difference on there. So I did the same thing. I started off record low temperature, 183 million results on that, and then record high temperatures, 7.9 million. That is an 18 to 1 difference. So then I broke it down for let's look at 2017. Record high temps, 13.5 million results. And then the record low, 61.2 million. That's a 4 to 1 ratio on the cold records in 2017. Then I jumped over to Europe knowing that there was an enormous amount of cold damage to the crops this year and billions of dollars of lost agricultural production because of cold weather this year. Record low temps, 23.8 million results. Record high, 7.5 million. Again, that's a four to one ratio. Let's take a look at the Northern Hemisphere. Record high temps, 1.35 million. Record low, 1.7 million. So all the global warming, oh, it's warming to infinity, the rah-rah crowd. How can it be so close? Let's look at the Southern Hemisphere. Record high temps in the Southern Hemisphere, 1.3 million results. Record low, 1.7 million. How about the Middle East? I'm always thinking hot, scorching deserts. Oh yeah, the blizzards and the out of season snowstorms and record rains and atmospheric compression events this year. Probably cooled the temperatures a bit. Record high temperatures 2017 in the Middle East, 7.8 million results. Record low, 72.8 million. That's a 10 to 1 ratio. Cold records. Let's take a look into Oceania. That includes Polynesia, Micronesia, and all the Melanesian chain as well. We get down to New Caledonia, Papua New Guinea, French Polynesia, Tahiti, that whole area. I'm always thinking really warm in the islands, tropical islands, record low temperatures, 2017, Oceania, 12.3 million results, record high, 3.7 million. That is a four to one ratio cold in the tropics of Oceania in the Pacific. Let's look at the full on tropical equatorial band tropics up to 20 degrees north latitude and 20 degrees south latitude off the equator, tropical coconuts, oil palms, cocoa, record high temps in the tropics, 4.2 million results, record lows, 129 million low temperature records. I myself was totally shocked when I saw this. I'd seen the UAH and RSS temperature feeds coming in for the tropics showing year on year cooling. Specifically, the tropics is cooling faster than anywhere else on the planet. But I didn't realize that it would be such a huge 30 to 1 difference. Cold versus hot. And if you like these types of reports that I'm bringing you, please support me on Patreon. I know this type of information is not going to be making it into the general media, the mainstream media that you get every day. So I'm trying to find these stories that they won't cover so you can be more informed as we move into this grand solar minimum 
and intensifying mini ice age. Thanks for watching. I do hope you got something out of the video and I'll see you next time.